Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do readings with Aries for September 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading though. It's not going to suit every person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> One more shuffle. <clears throat> okay, give me that Aries. September. This one that's turned in here. Okay, Aries. So you're not interested in meeting anyone new. You're not interested in getting back out there. <clears throat> feel like you've seen the clarity in a situation because you're not wanting to meet somebody new <clears throat> maybe the truth you've had some clarity revelation but it looks like you're not looking to ascend your love life Be careful of any overreactions. Um, make sure that if you react, you, you respond more so than reacting. Um, avoid any kind of discussions because of your fleeting emotions. On the bottom, I feel like you're kind of done working on it. It might be a situation that you've worked on, broken up, worked on, broken up, that kind of situation, but yeah, the relationship is over. You're not looking to go back there. In your head, it's done. We'll get some more information. <clears throat> okay, tell me about not wanting to date going to take inner strength to get through just living I guess um, you're probably doubting yourself you may have a lot of raw emotion as well probably because you've been hurt so much by people that may have been like a devil energy could be addicted to drug sex money alcohol gambling that could be codependent um, the devil is also somebody who um, or it could even be us but I feel like things stop us because we have these thoughts or we have unhealthy relationships or we have bad habits ourselves and they stop us being the best version of us or who we want to be so it could also be that for some people somebody could have left you out in the cold so for you i think it's more either you've been in a bad relationship or as i said you need to get away from somebody who left you out in the cold and somebody who was like a devil energy. Okay, tell me more about not wanting to get out and date. Five of Swords. Could have been a very hostile situation, but it looks like somebody may want to come back and reconcile. <clears throat> but I feel like you need to just take some time by yourself. You probably do need to do some sort of introspection and soul searching. Figure out, you know, do some contemplation, meditation, figure out what, what it is you want, what it is you're willing to accept. Do the inner work as well. Um, but I feel like, yeah, you probably need to withdraw and just be by yourself. Yeah, let something go with the hangman. Have a new perspective. Take time to just be that pause. Just some time alone, really. As I said, it gives you that pause for you to think about things and have that enlightenment. Because what you want is your nine of cups. But somebody that's like 
the devil energy is not going to give that to you. you got a choice though. Oh look, same card. This person left you out of the cold, but here you are actually recovering from this person, probably focusing on your employment as well. Um, that was under there, but yeah, two of swords. This is you needing to make a decision, you're weighing up all, you know, weighing up the options. I feel like you don't have all the facts either. <clears throat> but you are going to see the, have a revelation or get some truth and clarity. It's also protection, taking back your own power. You probably need to speak your truth and maybe you never did. <clears throat> Sorry, I had a bit of frog in my throat before. You've also got the six of pentacles. So this can be either, you know, somebody giving, receiving help. It can be two choices, as I said a minute ago. It can also be... Um, what you get, what you put out, you get back. So keep that in mind. It's like karma. But I guess if you need help, you know, reach out and ask for it. Did you have a chariot? Oh, no, you didn't. <clears throat> Okay, King of Swords. Could be somebody who's very cruel, somebody who's very controlling, somebody who's very manipulating. Um, with the Three of Wands, though, this is you actively waiting. You're waiting, you're needing to make a decision, you're needing to... Your choices are. You either sit here and actively wait for something to come to you with your expectations that something is going to happen. Um, but I also, and I mean, as I said, what you put out, you get back. You plant the seeds, you do the work now, you will reap the rewards, right? And here you are actually doing it. You're actually being, taking the action, you're being determined, you're actually trying to make a change. As I said, you find out the truth and I feel like, you know, you make the change. And keep on actively just, just waiting. As I said, you're taking the time, be by yourself. Just sit and wait. Stop looking. I think I say this with most Aries readings. Stop looking. Just be by yourself. Because once you do, the lovers. Somebody will come in. Stop looking. Focus on your self-love as well because at the moment your love life is not ascending you haven't done the work on you and i think most readings i say to you you need to do some work on you because if you don't you're going to attract more of this now it's like you feel you're one of these people that feels very defensive. You find everything a struggle. You're paranoid. You're closed minded. As I said, you need to do some inner work. You need to put up your boundaries. At the moment, maybe you haven't had your boundaries up. You've been accepting less than. Put up your boundaries. Know that you can get through whatever you need to get through. You do have the strength. Somebody may try to communicate with you, but this can also be you probably needing to manifest because at the moment there's something that you're not wanting to end look you don't want a new beginning you don't want to be a free spirit you don't want to end something either with the death card in reverse you're resisting the change you need to do some work on you <clears throat> get rid of whatever doesn't serve you whatever isn't for your highest good and have patience and wait because divine timing you are going to get what it is you want Look, I can't make this up. You are going to get your wishes fulfilled. But you've got to have patience. You've got to be by yourself. And I know there's something that you might want to get back with. You might want to reconcile because maybe you're codependent. But I'm telling you, 
it's not going to give you wishes fulfilled. All it's going to do, the same situation. And then you're going to be by yourself again. Yeah, look, as I said, break up. It's going to end the same way because you're codependent. Exactly what I just finished saying. But once you do, you're going to be a free spirit. You will meet somebody. Just be by yourself. See the, see the situation for what it is, first of all, with the moon. <coughs> this is also you needing to release the fear that maybe you think you're going to be alone. You need to release that. You need to stop repressing your emotions and trust your intuition. You're not trusting your intuition either. Maybe there was somebody you thought you were going to get old with. Um, it can also be you needing to, you've had disappointments in the past. And I feel like whatever this is, you need to forgive yourself, forgive them. And just, as I said, enjoy your own time. Enjoy your own space. You got the Ten of Wands as well, as I said. There was a situation that was a burden. Too many responsibilities, no perspective, you're feeling oppressed, you've got pain. And you probably felt like you did it all in that relationship. But as I said, just don't don't make decisions based on fleeting emotions and respond rather than react. Things might happen that are going to trigger you. Be aware of that. Same situation. <laughs> this card keeps jumping out. As I said, this is going to be you recovering from some sort of loss. Whether it's financial loss because of this person, whether it's a loss because of this person. Um, it's going to be, you know, you having courage and knowing that you can get away from this person. Because I feel like this person triggers you. And you got the four of cups in reverse. Do the soul searching. Do the introspection. Be by yourself. Because at the moment you're probably hesitant to open your heart because of this person. And then you got the ace of swords underneath that. This is having a fresh start. You also need to change the way that you think because, as I said, you are codependent. So change the way you think. You don't need somebody to make you happy. Yeah. You're going to have a breakup with this person. But then you're going to have a fresh start. You're going to focus on your employment. And be a free spirit. As I said, work on you being codependent. Because all you're going to attract is manipulating people who do wrong by you. Deceitful. They're deceptive. They steal from you. You know, they're sneaky. They sabotage. Whatever this is. It's not a good situation. Like, they're stealing the swords over here. Let's get a crystal. I've got a crystal oracle. We'll use these for a change. I don't know if I've ever used these in a reading action. So I thought, why not? Okay, Aries. You got Wolf and Art. It was in reverse, but we'll check. Let's see what the wolf and that means. It's about preserv preservation, duality, and psychic awareness. 
Your powers of perception are strong at present and you will experience a heightened awareness of others' thoughts and intuitively understand their motives and actions. And as I said, this was in reverse. So because at the moment you, you haven't got clarity about this person's motives, as I said though, you will. You will get clarity, but at the moment you, you haven't. So you're being, encouraged, <coughs> you're being encouraged to follow your feelings and instincts. Rely on your intuition rather than what others say. Follow your gut feeling. For in doing so, you will preserve the integrity of a project or situation which is dear to your heart. In this instance, you are being encouraged not to listen to the conflicting opinions of others. Listen instead to the guidance which stems from your own soul and all will work out well. Because at the moment, you're not trusting your intuition. We've already established that before. You're not trusting your intuition. You need to see this person for what they are. Like with the moon card, wherever that was. As I said, trust your intuition and see the situation for what it is and you're not. And this is telling me you're not. On the bottom, you've got selenite. Which is all about peace, tranquility, soul connection and telepathy. It talks about going within. It's possible for you to connect with others energetically on a soul level and infuse them with love and healing. This is telep telepathic communication in its highest form. Through the formless light of love, it is possible to both send and receive information provided the information is sought and sent with love. Remember, on a soul level, time and space do not really exist because all is interconnected and ultimately one. The peace and tranquility you seek can be found by connecting to that ultimate oneness. Go within, for in doing so you realise that all is eternal, nothing is ever lost, and that all is eternally present. As I said, you will have peace and tranquility, but you need to go within, do the work, go and do the work on yourself. Spend some time by yourself, as I keep saying to you. Lucky last. There he is. I cannot pick a better card. It's exactly what I've been saying. You tolerate less than for that reason. You tolerate less than for that reason. Is that seven of swords? You tolerate less than because you're codependent. You tolerate people who are deceitful, cruel, you know, steal from you, are deceptive, dishonest, whatever this is. You put up with this person because you're codependent. And at the moment you've got no trust, but stay optimistic about your love life. Well, that's what I have for you, Aries. It's nothing new, then you already know. But thanks for watching. I hope that resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you with the next reading. Thanks for watching. Bye.